Welcome to Drawfee Break, the midweek freeform drawing sesh. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Willie. Hey, Willie's here. What's up, Willie? Guys, I'm Nathan. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh. You almost had it. You were so, it was, oh, oh. We were so close. <laughs> almost a pristine take. Oh, <laughs> that was our 15th. We're going to have to go with it, man. Oh, well. Guys, Willie Muse is joining us on the show today. Hi, uh, everybody. Willie is a fellow uh, editorial member for College Humor. Uh, we're working on uh, an upcoming article. Nathan is. Uh, yeah. We're just going to be distracting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was, like, working on this, and then Carl was like, hey, we should record. What do you want to draw today? I was like, uh, I'd, <laughs> love to, I'd love to work on this. <laughs> So, so we figured we, we take you guys under the hood a little bit. Little. Um, I'm just gonna do some inking yeah. while Caldwell and Willie do. Uh, while we just like, vamp. you're gonna do the inking and we're gonna do the stinking. Mm-hmm. Nice. How, how what I always say. Well, you guys Is can't that... smell it, but it, it's disgusting <laughs> around here. <laughs> <laughs> just um, everywhere. Yeah. This is a thick, just uh, an odor, just a miasma. Bearable. It's like if balls ate Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name. Willie of, coming in hot. That's the, the name <laughs> of your new article that's coming yeah, out, right? No. If if balls could eat. Yeah. 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 You guys can check out Filthy. lots of lots of the wonderful things <laughs> Willie's written on uh, on the uh, College Humor uh, website. If you go to collegehumor.nights.com. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm -mm, I wouldn't either. Men Mention balls a lot. It's actually. <laughs> uh, the tagline is humor. Graduated. Woo. It's it's pretty raunchy, you guys. It yeah. is a lot of test. You might think that it's like sexy stuff. It's not. It's just testicle related it's, humor. No, I, I people try to masturbate to my articles and they they fail. <laughs> and they comment about it. That was they it. do. Yeah, like I tried to masturbate to this, couldn't. Dick stuck in a toaster. <laughs> just FYI. Uh, they're all, it's weird, like, you think they're being rude at first, but you realize that they're actually just, like, politely informing you that they had trouble with it. Yeah, well, all of my articles start with, try to masturbate to this, guys. Um, <laughs> it's, hey, well, could, it's, you, could you lean in a little bit so people can hear your so, voice? Oh, sorry. There you go, yeah. Guys, I'm just worried, said, I'm just oh, worried no. that you're not going to get picked up. Yeah, no, microphones don't like me generally, no. anyway. It's because of, it's because you're a ghost. It is, I, I died, I died, Because um, of the stink. I was drowned in a well. <laughs> he, uh -oh. died, he died because you drowned in a well of stink. Yeah. A stink well. A stink well. Right, which is my nickname in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't <Nice>. very creative. <laughs> neither are, neither are middle schoolers, so it's fine. Yep, that. Story holds up. <laughs> so Nathan, what are you working on? Oh, this is a, a comic for uh, a comics jam. Yeah, which is a thing we we do from time to time. Trying to do them more frequently, mm -hmm. uh, where we uh, uh, give a bunch of illustrators, web cartoonists, um, a, a topic, a theme, if you will. If you will, I will. <laughs> Thank you. And we set them loose. And yeah, and the theme for this week's comics jam is tattoos. So this is the first. Uh, this is the first panel in my uh, difference between a stupid tattoo and a cool tattoo. So it's a bit of a spoiler, but not fully. No, there there are two more side by sides. Yeah. So I have a, a bit bit more work to do. <laughs> but That's why we're doing this, is because yeah. <laughs> so are you are you hoping people will turn these into tattoos? Is that the, yes? Okay. Yeah. That's it, the ultimate that, goal. Yeah. Okay. We've already had some of our drawings on Drawfee turned into tattoos. That's, and that's true. I like saying tattoos. <laughs> okay. I was wondering You guys that. haven't commented on it, but I think it's fun to say tattoo. That's the name of your tattoo parlor, Tats 2 with you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nothing. Tats 2 with you uh, is what it says on the wall. And, <laughs> and you have no customers. Yeah, no Willie, one's ever actually asked, like, tattoo, and then you say, no, tattoo with you. It's. I think it's going to be a hit new phrase. That's what I'm I getting tattooed so. on my body. Let's go Willie, oh. do you have any tattoos? I have three tramp stamps. Um, on top of each other? Yeah. They're really, really, they're balls, all of them. I have, so it's, I like, like, it's like three sets of balls stacked yeah, up? Yeah, like three. Like it's balls. Wait, hold on. I kind of want to just take a take a little balls. break. Oh wow! And do uh, do you want to like kind of like visualize this for us? Yeah, this, yeah. That's too funny. Let's okay. So I'm gonna just. So it's do like, you want a picture of my back to? Here, or, I, no, no, no. We want to visualize okay. it, and you tell us how close we are. Okay. okay. Um, so this is. Well, my ass is nicer than that. This first is of all. Willie's back. So this is an artist representation. I'm okay. imagining like balls. Balls. On balls. balls mm -hmm. on the middle one has some hair. Balls. The middle one's got some hair. Yeah. It's, okay. And it, it looks like, is this, is this your back? And then you got your shoulders? That's my back, yeah. Cool. Well, uh. So that's my, that's my ass. Oh, that's great. I like that, um, 
And that's just on your back. That's just, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just right above the little. Cool. This is going <laughs> to seem weird to you, but I have the same tattoo except uh, with, uh, well, it's, it's, it's dog balls. Oh. Yeah. See, that, that makes, that, I, I was considering the dog oh, balls, but mm-hmm. I was like. It's how do you kind of play out? How do I differentiate? Yeah. yeah what's well, they're attached to dogs. Uh, oh. It's like it's three so bulldogs it's... just stacked on each other, and Aww. their balls are flopped out. Sounds adorable. Uh, yeah, it was really fun to describe it to the guy at Tats Two with you. Um, I went. To, I'm Nathan's only customer. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was me. You referred to Nathan. You as referred to me guy. as that guy. Well, when I'm at work, I uh, at other work, not this work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's what's your? You have an alias that you go by. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Natu. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw through it. You wear that that surgical mask because you take your job so seriously. I'm just now finding out that that, that uh, Natu and Nate are the same person. Mm-hmm. Not You're to all... be confused with Natu the Pokemon. No, um, certainly not. So you can't tell the future and shit. I I God, can, but that's but <laughs> oh, for different man. reasons. <laughs> oh man, Willie, how have we never had you on? <laughs> you know more about Pokemon than either of I, us. Uh, Pokemon Balls is my next article coming out, guys. Pokemon Balls is yeah. what Nathan has tattooed on his back. <laughs> yeah, they're Pokemon? all they're all different. Uh, it's a Gengar, a uh, Dragonite, uh-huh. oh, and uh, okay, uh, you took that literally. Uh, mm. I thought maybe like it was like, you know, like a couple of Master Balls stacked up on your, oh. your the, the small of your back. No, those meant, are those are called Pokeballs, Balls, not yeah, Pokemon sure. Balls. All right, so you m- literally meant Gengar's testicles are mm-hmm. tattooed on your back. Yes, the Phantom Pokemon Gengar. You have his testicles just slapped, inked permanently on your the small of your back. Cause like, a not not a lot of ghost movies really address what happens to the genitals. That's true. That's a very. <laughs> we never see Bruce Willis's testicles at all in that film. It says you. <laughs> yeah, what? Got, what does that? Mean? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have access yeah. to the director's yes. cut. Yes. Yes. Says says me. <laughs> says me and most moviegoers. Yeah. I, <laughs> But maybe M. Knight's got it, like a secret cut. It's I remember the, seeing his ball. Like, that was not the twist <laughs> ending. It's like, yeah. hey, I, I think see you, dead people. Here are my balls. Did, was that like a porn parody that you saw? Maybe. Possibly. I do watch a lot of porn parodies in my free time. <laughs> it's your favorite type of movie. Yeah. I like, <laughs> I get most of my movie knowledge from porn parodies of movies. <laughs> I think that's, that's efficient. Yeah. Because like, you're getting a, gl- you like get a gist of a movie. Yeah, but then you also get to jerk it. Exactly. Well, that's 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 what I like. That's what I like to get. Hi, mom. Um. <laughs> oh, I want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'm also really horny. It's a time saver, is what yeah. it is. And also, if you if you really wanted to get a movie's like general plot down, yeah, the porn is like. It's gonna, it's, the it's, movie, yeah, it's, so gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna condense, like, condense it. Yeah. And there's like everything. romantic tension in a regular movie, and it's just yeah. kind of like you're just ramping that tension. I jerked it to the sixth sense too, and exactly. Yeah. Which part? All parts. <laughs> Equally. I, he never stopped. <laughs> he never stopped. The movie started, and he was going. Yeah. Oh yeah. He I never came you. to climax. No, <laughs> he <that> just was. <laughs> the movie climaxed, but Willie did not. I didn't. No. But, like, <laughs> there's that scene where the kid and the mom are lying to each other. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. But I didn't do anything past that. You just kind of let it You just kind of let it tingle. Yeah. It's called I, edging, I believe. Uh-huh. It, is, yeah. is it? Uh, yeah, look I, it up. I, I, I'm not, I remember I, I read about this no, I, on your article on collegehumor.nights.com. <laughs> Six reasons to edge. Yeah, like yeah. no six best movies to edge to. Oh, uh-huh. there's a different one. I haven't read the Bio. six reasons to edge. Uh, and yet. it's like the I think the other one is like that 128 days movie. Yeah. Because like that movie has a lot of actual edges in it. You did. It's true. It's and true. like yeah, when he's like chopping his arm off, you're like, oh, yeah. but you never, you can't. It's really hard during the arm chopping scene. Uh huh. Because it's pretty, it's pretty it. hot. I mean, it's like a sexual metaphor anyway. He's like shoved in that crevice. Yeah, uh, that's actually why the real guy did it was to uh, make a sexual metaphor. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nathan can't. <laughs> this, is, this is why we decided to do this episode. Like, we'll just talk about uncomfortable things uh-huh. while we force Nathan to do uh-huh. his job. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, Everyone's like, oh man, it must be so fun to work at College Humor, but uh, no. no, it's, it's just, a nightmare. You're just like trying to inch in some work every once it's in a while. It's just, just the worst. scrape in some effort in between just long session, long talks about jerk sessions. This I guess. is constant. It's mm-hmm. pretty, it violates labor laws, I'm pretty sure. Most of them. What other, so you got edging. 
Yeah. What are some other like high level jerk techniques? Um, <laughs> we're just going. We're just going to stay on this topic. There is the butterfly effect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that is that a is that a jerk technique or is that a movie you like to edge to? Both. Okay. No. <laughs> I was inspired by true events. Yeah, no, I was edging to the butterfly effect, uh -huh. and I did this one fun move, and I was like, "I'm gonna call it." I'm gonna call it's it. butterfly, and then everything changed after that, just like the real butterfly. Yeah. Effect. So it's like you, change, you jerk so hard to change your future. Yeah. Okay. No, and then a, a a tornado blows through the Amazon. Exactly. Or is that like, yeah, uh, is a butterfly actually involved? N sometimes. Okay. N <laughs> Okay, okay its good. effect is involved at least. Yeah. Right. Are they all named after movies? Um, some. Okay. Well, like, most. Yeah, all of the, well, yeah. Because there is a movie called The Edge right. also, right? With uh, I think, yeah. Anthony you can't Hopkins. Edge to the Edge, though. That's <laughs> way too on the nose. The edge. It's like, if you have one takeaway. Can you, can you butterfly effect to The Edge? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's one takeaway from this just like prolonged train wreck is that you cannot edge to The Edge. Yeah. Take that with you, Word take that to wise. your grave. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to get to the second panel. I don't think you need to. Okay, we're just going to finish <laughs> inking this first one. We'll finish Ooh. inking this, and then we'll just like take a long shower. I think will probably be the best. Okay. Uh, did you have you have you tried um, Jet Li's The One? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's a tough one. It was scary. That's a tough. It the was one. Mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. There was a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's yeah. yeah. You're like it's like a multi-dimensional. Jerk. Sesh. Is that the one where he's a dog? No, maybe. What? No, no, the one no. The no one that that's unleashed because oh, he's yeah. on he's on a leash. Yeah, that's Jet Li, right? Mm -hmm. It is Jet Li. Okay, good, good, good. That would have been bad. Jet Li's the one is where uh, Jet Li is. There's a ton of Jet Li's. Je okay. And he's going through uh, space time, killing all the other Jet Li's to gain their power. Oh. Which is what happens like in this move we're talking about is like you go through while all of the alternate reality yous are like are also stroking jerking it, it, stroking it so right, and then like so you can accumulate like a massive uh, orgasm. But Jet Li. Has we need to, to put that. like a disclaimer on this. Yeah, episode. I think <clears> like. <throat> uh, Am I not supposed to be saying these things? No, I think we've we've gotten you know we've gotten dirty on yeah, past episodes. We've gotten dirty, but like you've really set a new bar. We, oh no! We're, Can I just start saying dirty thing? Like just like let's cock. talk about maybe we should cock? go back to Pokemon. Pokemon <laughs> yeah. cock. Damn it! Oh, I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Which Pokemon do you think has the best penis, though? Uh, think or no? Well, Gengar. that's why you're on the show, man. Yeah. Oh, Gengar. Gengar. Oh, you've been looking at my. I've been uh, looking at Nathan's back. <laughs> my back. Gengar or Mega Gengar? Mega Gengar is when it gets hard. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. that is because he gets the Mega Stone. Uh -huh. If you know what I mean. He gets you, the Mega I think Stone you do know what I mean. In his I pants. <laughs> he doesn't wear pants. Oh. I thought you were a Pokemon do Gengar master. Not wear pants. <laughs> I guess he could. I would if I had a Gengar and make it wear pants. Uh, I think that's allowed. Good. It's. I mean, like you, you have con you have gained control over this specter, and yeah. like that is uh, that. I feel like that's like, I'm you know, charge. most people most people make their Pokemon live in like tiny little balls, and that's like demeaning enough. Uh -huh. But I think if you also made it wear pants, that would like really like <laughs> increase your dominance. Aww. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. And it's great. It's so cute. It's just like weird gas monster ghost, but he's got like a pair of chinos on. It's and you can make him adorable. ride around in like a little tricycle. Yeah. Don't this they, is what Pokemon don't should Don't they be. have Pokemon outfits in one of the newer games? I think so, but Do I don't they? know if it's like always on. I don't know if it's pants. I feel like it's like umbrellas and Yeah, hats. it's like caps. It's stuff that you can like easily put on, fit uh -huh. to any body type. Yeah. Sure. But like, I'm talking about like just a real tasteful pair of Dockers mm. on my on my Gengar. <laughs> Absolutely. We're talking stain proof. Oh, of course, because you know they're going to be fighting. Yeah, they're stains. getting wet and wild. Yeah. Literally, I think that isn't that a move. Wet get wet getting wet and wild. No, wet and wild isn't that wet a Pokemon wild, move? Yeah. Probably. Super effective. Again. If it's <laughs> if it's not in this generation, it will be in the next one. Yeah. So. And then we'll Nate, do you want to? Uh, do you want to? Put some, slap some inks on that bubble, and then and then call it a day. Yeah, you oh, guys no. get you guys get to watch me uh, try and make a circle. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna yeah. we're just gonna quiet down while you do that. This is uh, really the, the final test, uh, the final flourish. There you go. Uh, well, that's what you gotta use the tail for, uh, man. Uh, tail whip. There you go. That's a Pokemon move. I no, that's good. I like it. Okay, cool. Well, Willie, uh, thank you, thank you very much for coming on the show. Sorry, this I ruined it with my. I don't think you ruined foul it. I think, language. I think you just you just made a. This is Droffy Nights. You made it your own. This is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is that's what this episode is gonna be yeah. called. Droffy Nights <laughs> with yep. Willie. 
Joffy Nights. I think that we have like a new spin-off series. It's called Joffy Nights, and it's where we just get like just launch ourselves, just plunge deep into the raunch zone. Alright, so this is God. this is just the cover ourselves in raunch this dressing. This has been this has been inked. <laughs> <laughs> raunch dressing. Uh, raunch dressing. Yeah. Guys, um, don't forget we're doing a drawbacks contest yes. um, for Think Geek. So uh, please email uh, your Game of Thrones, that's either Games, Thrones, or Game of Thrones drawings to our email, drawfee at gmail.com, for a chance to win some cool Game of Thrones swag Make from sure to thinkgeek.com. Put drawbacks in the subject line mm -hmm. so we know to look at it. And uh, be sure to um, you know, like leave us suggestions for which Pokemon penis you'd like Willie to draw on the next Drawfee Nights. I have been told that I am not allowed to draw multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> well, no, on this show, but on Drawfee Nights, you're oh, more than welcome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's dirty. That's gonna do it for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and I guess Willie, why don't you apologize this time? I'm really sorry. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>